What's up, gang? Welcome back to another Monday episode. I'm super pumped to have you here with me. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the HX80, and I've made plenty of videos about this camera. This camera has been to Vegas with me. It's gone to the beach with me. It filmed all of my skateboard videos. This thing has gone hiking with me. It's been to Cucumber Falls at Ohio Pile. It's been all over the place. I've used it as my overhead camera in other videos. I've used this camera for a lot of different things, but would I actually recommend this camera to anyone? Stick around, we're gonna find out. Here it is, the Sony HX80. It's a very nice little camera. Uh, I made a pros and cons list, and we'll go through and we'll talk about all the good things and all the bad things about this camera. Right off the bat, I can tell you that this thing is very lightweight. It's slim, fit right inside your pocket. Um, I usually put it in like a carrying case or something like that, and I just like carry it on my belt loop. Um, I'm not one for having like, you know, things in my pockets all the time, but uh, this thing is so slim that it will just fit right in your pocket. The best feature about this camera is obviously the three inch flip out LCD screen. Um, if you're vlogging, it's definitely helpful to be able to see yourself and you know compose a, a good shot. The other greatest feature of this entire camera is that it shoots in 60 frames per second, which means you can go out and shoot some really great stuff and take and convert that into slow motion. It definitely makes your videos look awesome. The Sony HX80 does have image stabilization and it also shoots at full HD, 1920 by 1080. It has a very long battery life, like this battery lasts forever. It's 18 megapixel sensor. It has built in wireless capabilities so you can transfer images from the camera straight to your phone. And another really awesome feature about this camera, the one that actually sold me on it, is a combination of this flip screen and the fact that it auto focuses during video. So it's got the dual pixel auto focus, uh, much like the higher end cameras. The best part of this entire thing, this whole camera, is the fact that it's $338 right now on Amazon. So down below, I have a link. You can go check it out. It's an affiliate link, so if you do hit that link and go to Amazon and you end up buying the camera, then I get like, I don't know, a couple bucks. So if you wanna help a dude out, go ahead, hit that link and go buy your HX80 from that. So let's talk about the cons. There are a few that uh, are worth mentioning. The HX80 does not have a touch screen. Um, with most of the new cameras today, they all have touch screens and it just makes it really easy and really fast to go through and work with your settings. But there is no touch screen on this. Is it a big deal? No. The one thing that really, really sucks about this camera is the fact that there is no external mic port. So you cannot use an external mic with this camera. Um, the mics are located right there on top. The other thing that's kind of a drag about this camera is the fact that at its widest aperture, it's only 3.5. Um, you know, that's not really great. Uh, but if you give this camera the light that it needs, it will perform very well. Obviously, the micro two-thirds sensor that this camera is equipped with um, has a lot to do with that. And that's another con. That's not a good thing. So would I recommend this camera? Yes. If you're just starting out or if you're looking for a really nice, slim vlogging camera, um, I would definitely say, you know, go for the Sony HX80. It's $338. You really can't beat that. So like I said, if you give this camera light, it will perform very well. Um, this camera actually excels outdoors. So if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this every Monday, Wednesday, 
and Friday. We'll see you guys later.